foster interaction and collaboration in my class, I provide students an opportunity to not only meet myself through my introduction, but to meet each other because we will be working together, collaborating in forums and chat rooms throughout the semester. During the first week of class, I have them go to the forum section to read an introduction about myself. I tell them my background and include my picture on the home page so they can create a visual bond with who I am. I also ask them to put their introduction after mine. I also ask them to read the postings from their fellow students so they get to know each other more as they will be working together even though they don't see each other face to face. I feel it's important in an online class that students still feel that they have the support of each other and can share ideas even though it's an online environment. I also use the forums to do follow-up for some of the work that the students do. For example, early in the semester they work on a project called a spending diary. They also create financial goals so they track what they spend for two weeks and look for areas that they can save money. They then create short-term, medium, and long-term goals. They set measurable ways to track whether they reach it and action items that they're going to implement to get there. But I don't want it to just stop with their ideas. Because they do this early in the semester, they have a chance to try out their savings ideas and work towards their plan as the semester progresses. Therefore, later in the semester, I have them come back to the forum and we do a Let's Talk session where they share how they have done, what they have found, and give ideas based on their experiences to their fellow students. In an online course, communications is very important because I'm not there in front of the student. So it's important that the site is easy to navigate and that I have all information complete and comprehensive and easy to find. On the first day of class, I ask students to look at this welcome slideshow, which is a narrated PowerPoint that goes over what is on the syllabus and on the course calendar. I also ask them to look at a list of tips on how to do well in an online course. I've taken these ideas from previous students who have done well in my online courses. The student can always go to the course calendar at any time and find out what is going on each week, what content we're covering, what is due, exams, projects, so that they always know how to prepare. I also make it easy for them by updating this area right here every Monday morning. I put what is due that very week, what chapter we're covering, any assignments that are due, and reminders for exams. Students can also go to these easy links to not only go to the syllabus and calendar, but also to the assignments page, which I've broken up so that they can easily see all of their projects, which are based on PowerPoints that give them instructions and rubrics, and it's easy for them to be reminded on when the due date is. They also use these easy links to go to course exams and to the gradebook. And I provide reminders not only in this area, but via the mail tool in emails to the students when important activities and exams are coming up. <music> to assess that a student is really learning in my class, I look to see that they can apply what they have learned to real life situations and to interact on the subject. One thing that I use is the forum tool. They answer questions that are posted tied to certain chapters and many times are asked to use outside material to support their answer. The next week they have to answer a part two. The twist is they need to read the postings from their fellow students the week before in order to answer part two. This provides them the opportunity to hear other people's ideas the same way that they would do so if they were in a classroom setting. I also give assignments that are real life. For example, one project is called the Stock Market Project. It runs the course of the semester. The students choose stocks. They learn how to read the price on Fidelity.com and they actually track it during an eight week period. 
I break the project into two parts so that I can check how they are doing mid-semester. In addition to tracking the price, they do research to find any information on the company for that week that could have caused a change in the price. If there is none, they look for general industry information that could cause long-term changes. I provide a thorough rubrics, and at the end of the project, they see whether or not their portfolio of hypothetical $100,000 is a profit or a loss, and they compare it to what they would have earned in a traditional CD. I provide students with clear objectives, a variety of assessment methods, and timely feedback. On the course syllabus, I go over the course description and also the student learning objectives that they will achieve when they completed the class. The syllabus also goes over things like code of conduct and also my response time. It's important to me that students feel they can reach me quickly because they can't find me in a classroom. So I commit to returning emails within 24 hours during the weekday and by Monday morning if a message comes in over the weekend. Students see up front exactly how they are going to be assessed and I also make sure to grade exams, individual projects, and forum postings within one week of when it is due so that students know how they are doing and can get timely feedback. My grade book is organized so that students can see based on categories what they have received as grades and also their cumulative grades. So they can see exams, form assignments, individual projects, and on the top, they can see what their letter grade is. This site is designed to give students easy access to course materials and outside materials to support their learning. They can use different links in these green boxes or the drop down box, whichever is easiest for them. I also provide links to the Leeward Community College homepage and other distance learning sites that could be helpful to them. There's also an easy link here to go to the IT help desk in case they have trouble opening a file. And they can reach me via email through this link or here. I also put other ways to reach me, such as a phone number. Finally, I keep students updated in this announcement area. I put all of their PowerPoint files here so they can easily get to it. I also put different updates, for example, savings tips and ideas for financial planning. So I'll look for outside sources and websites, articles that they may find interesting, and I post it here so they can look at it at their leisure. Whenever I do a new posting, I'll use the mail tool in order to alert them that there's new information.